Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I thought I'd give you a quick walk around and talk about this new car that showed up last week. It's the 77 Ford Country Squire wagon. I've looked for a wagon in this color for so many years. Back in the 80s, when I was working at Amico Station, there was a traveling salesman that would come through in one of these things. And it was his company car, and it was so dang fancy. He was always dressed in a suit and the car was always spotless and i've always just really liked this color it's called light uh light jade glow it was an extra cost color in 77. i think it was 63 dollars extra to get this color and i believe there were some other colors available too i've got the brochure in there that we could look at but i thought we'd walk around it and just talk about it a little bit i don't like the deluxe wheel covers that are on it Buck Henry, get away from the car. Um, so I have the optional wire wheel covers for it that we'll be, I'll be putting on. I've got used ones and new old stock ones, so we'll discuss, you know, figure out which ones we're gonna put on it. The car is fairly loaded. It's not the interior that I wanted, but I just got to thinking, you know, the way that wagons are going up so much in price, if I didn't get one now, and, you know, five years from now, they're going to be old Bronco prices if I didn't get one. So it's only got 58,000 miles on it. And I do believe the miles. I'll show you some reasons why I do. One, I believe that's all original wood grain. I don't, it's got some nicks in it, but I don't see any reason to believe that it's been redone. I think it's had a little bit of paint work done on the bottom. I didn't want a car that was stripped down. Most all of them I see didn't have power windows or didn't have power door locks or didn't have power seat. And I knew that I'd be adding all that stuff if I got one. And I just, I didn't want to try to find all that stuff. I also have new old stock and used body side molding that we'll be putting on it. You know, I, I've always talked about my cars and how I've loaded them up. And, you know, you guys don't get to see me do it. Well, on this one, you're going to get to see me do it. You're going to, I'm going to do videos on showing you adding these options. I'm glad it's got the, the rocker molding down there. A lot of them don't have that. It does not have the power mini vent windows. We'll be adding those. It's got the roof rack. Cornering lamps. I did not want to buy one without cornering lamps because I didn't want to have to start cutting a hole in the front fenders and locating all that stuff. You know, when, when I put the cornering lamps on my Mercury, you just take the piece of chrome off and bolt the cornering lamp in there and change the wiring harness and that's all there was to it. This one, you have to cut a hole in the fender and I, I didn't want to do that. So I was really being picky about what I was getting. It's got some chips in the paint, but I think it's gonna buff out really nice. And it's been here a week today and those headlight doors, the car was shut off and a customer, of mine, a customer of mine even sat in it and pulled the headlights on and they fully opened and fully closed. And I went out there this morning and in a week, those headlights have not even once tried to creep up, not at all. So let's see. It's got the Duraweave seating in it, which a lot of people like but it's not really what i wanted it was only available on the wagons it's in really good shape it's got the base interior i want the landau luxury group i believe i've located all the original wood grain to change out for the dash and even the, the horn pad for the steering wheel the carpet has a rip in it i can't imagine what happened to that I just don't get that at all because the rest of the carpet is all in excellent mint condition and there's no wear anywhere on anything. There's no cracks in the armrest. So I don't know if something was spilt there or what. So I'm looking for carpet out of a four-door sedan, preferably a Grand Marquis or an LTD Landau with the thicker carpet. If anybody knows of any parts cars, please let me know. Eventually, I'd like to find the two-tone green door panels that they use in the Grand Marquis because that was part of the Landau Luxury Group. Then it got carpet down on the bottom. And you could have either two-tone vinyl 
or two-tone leather seating and I don't care I'm, I want to find one or the other the seat here is folded down oh. yeah but everything is in just really outstanding condition except that carpet I don't understand that carpet it just blows my mind All the windows work. Door locks are sluggish, but we're going to have to work on those. Tailgate works in both positions. Direction, directions, I guess I should say. Of course, the window's up now. And the window does work from the switch on the dash, and it works from the switch for the key here. It doesn't have rear window defrost, so I'm looking for a glass with rear window defrost which means I also have to add the heavy duty alternator. Not that I ever plan on driving in any weather. I just feel like I should see those lines there. Now, we'll go over the Marty report. Let me get my glasses on. I haven't driven it because it no more got here and we got a snowstorm and today's the first day that it's actually dry out here in the country but if i go up to the highway or anything like that there's just salt everywhere so i'm not going to drive it until we get a good rain which is maybe thursday and it's supposed to wash all that away so here's our option list we don't need to talk about the tires it does it did come with white sidewall tires goodyear tires uh the convenience group that was dual Dual remote mirrors, intermittent windshield wipers, the right front door ashtray, automatic parking brake, brake release, and a visor mirror is what that consisted of. Uh, cornering lamps, we talked about those. The digital clock, which isn't running, but I do have a perfect one that works fine. I'll get it changed out. Speed control, tilt steering wheel, power seats. And that's one thing that I was really shocked about. Because you don't see this very often in a Ford. You've seen it in the Mercury's. Definitely the Lincoln's. But this car's even got a power seat on the passenger side and passenger recline, which came with the split bench, I believe. But I was shocked to see that it had dual power seats. Most all of them I see only have a driver's seat power. Um, it's pretty cool out here. I'm going to get back in the car. So yeah, power seats. Most of them usually just say power driver's seat. Or six-way power seat, meaning driver's side. Um, where are we at? Luggage rack, we saw that. We got the bumper protection group. I would, I did not want one that did not have the rub strips on the bumper. It looks like something's missing. And I don't want to look for all that stuff. Um, air conditioner manual, AM, FM, stereo radio, country squire decor group, tinted glass, front license plate bracket, <clears throat> power windows, visibility light group. Now that consisted of... Lights underneath the dash and dual map lights. And let's see. Well, did that? I saw that in here. They're just calling it the visibility. No, they're just calling it the light group. Includes courtesy lights under instrument panel, dual beam map lights, engine compartment lamp, trunk or cargo light, standard on Landau and Squire, rear door courtesy light switches, standard on LTD Landau, four door and Squire, headlights on, warning buzzer. So that's what that consisted of. The luxury wheel covers. Some people like them, but they're, I, I just don't, I don't care for them. Um, power door locks and rocker moldings. Here's our wheel cover see here's the deluxe that it that it came with that was the standard ones 
Here's your aluminum wheels, which were not available on wagon. So these wire wheel covers right here, this is the ones that I want. And then you had the color keyed ones here that match the vinyl top and trim or the paint if it didn't have a vinyl top. But I really like these. I That's what the one that the guy had that you would always come in the Amico station. And I just thought it made the car look way more expensive. So that's the ones that I've got to add on it. And you can see this Landau Luxury Group wood grain, how it's kind of a two-tone. You get that burl walnut look compared to just this black and straight faux wood grain. It's I don't care for it. I would much rather have the Landau Luxury Group wood grain. If I can get it, I'm going to add it. I'm going to start looking for parts cars to get everything to put the Landau Luxury Group in this car. We will be adding the illuminated entry. I've got a new old stock lock set. I've got everything to do that. In fact, we've got that Lincoln that we're going to take the wiring out of. The maroon one that we went to Missouri to get from Tracy. Oh, and another thing that really bothers me about this Marty report. See here, let me find it. See this option right here? Four-wheel power disc brakes. Okay. Let me show you something. As soon as you look under the hood, we have figured out on a Ford or a Mercury, if you're ever looking at a car and you see the engine bay in a photo, if you don't see a power brake booster there, and you see this hydro boost valve, that means the car has rear power disc brakes on a Ford or a Mercury. Now Lincoln, you got this Hydra Boost on everything, even if you had rear drum brakes. Like my 79 Town Coupe had rear drum brakes, but it had the Hydra Boost. So when I see this, I'm like, well, this car has to have four wheel power disc brakes. And it's not on the Marty report. I don't get it. And I've questioned Marty about it. And they say, well, it's just not listed. And nobody's going to convince me that this car, that somebody put that on there. I just, I just don't believe that someone added it to it. I just, I just don't. It bothers me that it's not on the murder report because I know clearly that it came with them. Oh, let's see. It was built in Twin Cities. It's the 400. I believe you only had two engine options, the 400 or the 460. Would I rather have the 460? Probably. But, see here, this car's also got the 2.47 conventional rear axle, which that was the highest ratio you could get. So, you know, the fuel mileage not may not be that bad. It's really, really high geared. But the 400 doesn't bother me at all. I'm not drag racing anyone. I've had that in that 78 Grand Marquis for almost 30 years. I've had that car, and that engine has never caused me an ounce of trouble. And I can tell you that these two-barrel carburetors are way better than those four-barrel carburetors. So I wasn't going to be picky about the engine. Here's your light jade glow paint. It was ordered through the Davenport Ordering District. Here it shows the jade, dura weave, and vinyl split bench seats. Scheduled for build February 25th, 1977. It's got the C6. It was sold at Woods Harrison Ford Incorporated in Monmouth, Illinois. I got the car up here from Dallas, Texas. It somehow made it down there. And it was also in Minnesota. But the underneath is extremely clean. I'm not worried about rust at all. Okay, order received February 3rd, 77. It was serialized on the 4th, bucked March 15th, scheduled for build February 25th, actually built March 17th, released on March 17th, and sold on April 5th, 1977. There was 5,135 with this paint code, 880 with this paint and trim code. 75,664 with this engine transmission code, 3,490 ordered from the DSO, 
And get this, this is crazy to me. Because I think that they only made like 90-some thousand Ford station wagons in 77. Of this, you know, of the LTD wagons. And 50,743 with the Country Squire Decor Group. So most people did opt for the wood grain. I thought that was pretty cool. So anyway, the viewer vehicle was actually produced on March 17, 1977, 20 days behind schedule. I see a lot of Remarty reports for these wagons that it was behind schedule, so I don't know what was going on in 1977 for it to be behind schedule like that, but it got done. That's the main thing. See, this car here shows to have the mini vent windows. And 77 was the last year for the mini vent windows. They, they were available on the Ford and Mercury four doors and wagons in 1973 through 7. For some reason, probably because they were problematic, they dropped them. And they were no longer available in 78, the final year of this big car. You couldn't get them. There's a shot of it. See here, power mini vent windows provide draft-free ventilation. Great for smokers, which I'm not. Available on four-door and wagon models. Power side windows must be ordered when the mini vents is selected. Now, this doesn't show... Well, this is one thing. I will say this. See this door panel here? That's just... That's what you got in the Country Squire if you didn't order the Landau Luxury Group. But... If you got the LTD Landau, you got a lot fancier door panels here. It said LTD on it. I don't know why they didn't carry these door panels over into the wagon because I'd be a lot more satisfied with those. At least they had carpet down on the bottom. I don't know why they didn't give you that. With that, I feel like that should have been included with the Country Squire Decor Group. I just, I really do. That bugs me. Now, here's your leather seating. I say this was available in two-tone light and dark jade green and cream and gold. That was the only two tones available, but this one is a uh, saddle, I believe. Let's see, B. Yeah, they're calling that saddle in that color. They're not showing the two-tone vinyl. It was a different seating pattern. I would take either. I don't care, but... Just see how much better these door panels are. You know, you basically got the Grand Marquis door panels. And then this material here is a cloth. And I had a two-door LTD Landau years ago. And they're calling that Casman cloth vinyl split bench. And see here, it's only available in the Landau two-door and four-door. It wasn't available in the wagon. I don't understand why. Because you could get the leather... And then you could get the two-tone vinyl. They kind of look like the same stitching as the Grand Marquis uh, brome seating. But these things are a lifesaver to figure out what you could and couldn't have. Sure does make you scratch your head. See, they even offer this Duro even a bench. But you couldn't get this cloth. It was only a two-door and four-door LTD Landau. I don't know why they didn't offer it in the wagon. I think... Man, that's so weird. And we've already been on this page. See that it bugs me not seeing this rear window defrost button here. It just clearly that looks like something's missing. And I can't handle it. I know where the wiring's all over in that junkyard, which you guys see now why also I was back over there getting those seat belts out of that car because I've already got the flip up seats and they weren't ordered in this car. It did not come with the flip up seats so i have to add those i tell you what sucks is the guy that i got it from i did put all new door striker bolts on here too so we get this nice door closure see there this guy got seats somewhere from somewhere Oh, I like it, too, that this carpet is still here. That's usually long gone. See here, he had these seats covered in this really weird 
material and I can't live with that. It's not the right seats anyway. These are from an older one. But I've got the brown ones out of that car in the junkyard, so I'm going to have to take them and have them recovered in dark jade. So I'm going to wind up with a lot of money in this car, but hopefully station wagons keep gaining in value. I like that this tailgate is not all scratched up. It's in really good shape. The inner panel. Even all the plastic is actually in really good shape. Both speaker grills are cracked, but believe it or not, I have those new old stock as well. And I've found so many that the bumpers are just either rusted completely off or at least have holes in them. There's nothing wrong with this black back bumper. The car definitely has to have exhaust. That's going to be one of the first things that gets done to it. And I'll probably take you guys along. No cracks in the dash. See there how nice this carpet is? It's got a little bit of staining, but I haven't really done anything to it. I haven't had time, but I have to have fine carpet. There's nothing available aftermarket. I mean, there is, but it's the wrong color. It's the wrong material. And I'd rather just leave a floor mat over that rip rather than put something like that in here. I'm not doing it. And it's weird, too, that this piece of rubber has some chunks missing out of it. And this rubber is hard as a rock. But the rest of them, all three windows, is still extremely soft and pliable. So I've got this rubber here, new old stock, for this front door. And I'm looking for it for these, the, the other three. I'm going to need them for it for all the other three windows. But I'm going to go back over to the classic car junkyard because I'm sure that I can find a good piece of rubber here. I don't know if you guys can see here either, but every one of these has got lines cut in it on the inner and outer ones for the mini vent window to come up through. So that's good. So when we add the mini vent windows to it, the rubber is the same. You don't have to change any of that. So I just thought I'd give you guys a quick run around, show you the new car, tell you what we're planning on doing with it. And you guys will get to see all these options added where before I just tell you that I added them and you didn't see how it went. But I'm going to do videos and show you how it's all done. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.